Good morning, students. This is Mrs. Hinton, your school librarian. Your teacher has asked me to show you how to log in to STAR Renaissance Learning and AR. It's all one system. I want to show you two different methods how to do it. If you were here in kindergarten, you know I've told you there's always two or three ways to do anyway, anything. And in tech, I feel it's very important to always know two ways to do it so that if one method starts glitching, you have another method in your back pocket and you are ready to go. So the first thing you need to do is to go out to Google Chrome, Google Chrome, okay? And the next thing that you'll need to do once you get into Google is to sign into your school account, your stperpetuaschool.org account. So you can see right now, I'm not logged in as myself because there's a boy, a singing boy's face right here. So I'm going to click on that boy's face and I'm going to say sign out. I don't want to be signed in as him. And instead, I want to sign in as myself, Mrs. Hinton. So this is important because your computer may be used by multiple people. Maybe your parents use it, maybe siblings, maybe a babysitter. And it's important when you sign on for the day to make sure you're signed on as yourself and not somebody else. Or like me, you could have multiple accounts and you want to make sure you're signed on to the proper account. For me, I want to make sure I'm in my St. Perpetua account and not my personal one. So I'm going to choose an account and I'm going to choose this one shinton at csdo.org, but you are going to choose yours, which is your graduating year, your first initial of your first name, your full last name at stperpetuaschool.org. And if your account isn't here, it's okay. You can add it right here as you're trying to sign in where it says use another account. So I'm going to click on mine. Now you can see I've signed on to this device before. It already has my password memorized. But if you don't, again, it's going to be your graduating year, your first initial, and your full last name. I'm going to click Next, and here I am. And you can see my face up here, which means I'm signed on as me, Stacy Hinton, and that's what I want. Now, as I mentioned, there are two ways that you can sign in to STAR Renaissance Learning. Both of them though, the easiest way to get there is to go to our school website, stperpetuaschool.org. Now I have it bookmarked, <clears throat> but you can type stperpetuaschool, all one word, dot org. And if you want to bookmark it to um, your homepage, you can just add, click on this little star. See, if I click that, I can take it off, I can remove it from my bookmark bar, or I can add it, and I suggest you add it. Okay, now that I'm on St. Perpetua School, I want to go to the library. Remember, resources, great information, it's going to be in the library. So I'm going to come over here where it says Quick Links, and I can see I have a few choices. I'm going to come down here until I see these three books, the icon of the three books, and it says the word library. And I'm going to click on library. Now, this is a great website for you to be aware of, our library webpage. There's always interesting information out here. Right now, we still see that people can turn in their summer reading bingo card. We have a, a um, video on how to request and borrow library books during remote learning time. That's something all of you can do right now. I also have resources for families and that uh, you or your parents click over there. There'll be links to helpful sites to use during remote learning. And eventually we'll have links to all the different story time programs that I'm creating every week. Okay. But over here on this side navigation bar, what I want to do is go to clever clever so I'm going to scroll down and still I, until I find the word clever single sign on and I'm going to click on that and that's going to take us to our CSDO Diocese of Oakland Education Office clever if you google clever you're going to be in the wrong schools clever let me say that again for those of you who don't pay attention 
If you Google Clever and click on any old link, you won't be able to log in with your sign-in credentials because you will be on the wrong school's Clever account. You need to go to ours. So this is it, Diocese of Oakland, that's us. And it says log in with Google and I'm going to do that. I'm going to log in with my Google account. Your stperpetuaschool.org Google account is already tied to Clever. And from within Clever, I'm going to see different sites that I can link to, and my passwords are already saved for all of these sites, uh, which makes this a single sign-on. I can get to different things that I need to use. So today we want to go to Renaissance Learning, that's the big R. Now, yours may not be at the top of your page. You might have to scroll down and find it. And then when you do find it, if AR quizzes is something you're gonna do often, you can click on this heart which will move it up to your favorites at the top of your page. So you can move different apps up to the top of your page if you're going to use them more frequently. Now I have to say this, uh, when I click on Renaissance Learning, the login is not going to work. It's going to glitch. But for you it will work because your stperpetuaschool.org account is tied to your Renaissance Learning account. So you would click the big R and you'll be able to log in. I will not. See, oops, invalid request. Good thing I know a second method of how to get into AR since Clever is not working for me today. But like I said, it will work for you. So next, we're gonna exit out of all of this and we're gonna try again. So again, I'm gonna go into Google Chrome and again, I'm gonna go to the stperpetuaschool.org account and again, I'm gonna go find the library. And this time, instead of clicking Clever, I'm going to click AR Quiz Link. And this allows me the opportunity to log in. If you have to manually log in to Renaissance Learning for any reason, you would click I'm a student, and you'll enter your first initial of your first name and your full last name. So I'm logging in as a student who is named Saint Perpetua. So her login ID is S. Perpetua. Now some of you also have a number after your name. This is because there are other people in the Diocese of Oakland that have your same first initial and your same last name. Some of you with last names that are common, like say Rios, um, are going to find that you'll need to add a number at the end of your name. So St. Perpetua there are two of her in our system, and so I'm going to log in as St. Perpetua number two, who is our third grade student. And then you're going to enter your password. For most of you, I think your password is ABC, and you'll click log in. And here I am. Now I want to make sure that it's my account, that I haven't accidentally logged on to a sibling's or someone else's account. So I'm going to come up here with this little person and make sure it's my name, St. Perpetua 3rd grade. Yep, that's the one I want. You'll do the same. If it's not, you'll click on that word and log out and try again. So here I have three choices. I can go in and take my star reading assessment test if my teacher tells me it's time to do that. I can take my star math placement test if my teacher tells me it's time to do that. Or I can take an AR quiz, Accelerated Reader, after I've read a book. I'm going to do that. So I need to search for the book that I've read. Now, I just finished a collection of poems last night called Woke, but I'm not sure if there's an AR quiz for that. So I'm going to search and see. And nope. Too bad, so sad, I cannot take an AR quiz on that one. But before that, I read the one and only Ivan. And I'm going to search for that. And here it is, the one and only Ivan, written by Catherine Applegate. Make sure to check. Sometimes there are multiple books with the same title. Make sure you're taking the right quiz. Otherwise, you might not do so well. Then I'll click the button, Take Quiz and it's going to ask me which type of quiz I want to take. And you'll see it's defaulted to reading practice, which makes sense because I read the book and now I want to take the reading practice quiz. So I will click Start Quiz. And next it's going to ask, how did I read the book? 
The first choice I was read too. Well, for those of you in third grade right now, Mrs. Banchero is reading the one and only Ivan to you. So you would click this box, I was read too. If you read with someone, maybe you read with a parent, or maybe you read with a reading specialist, you would click this box, I read it with someone. And if you read it by yourself, like I did, I read the one and only Ivan by myself, then I would click this box, and then I will click Start Quiz. I'm not going to do that right now, because I don't want you all to see the quiz. But when I'm done, I can click on this Progress button, and I can see what my reading goal is that my teacher has set for me. And I already know St. Perpetua doesn't have a reading goal set for her yet, so it doesn't say anything. But yours would say the number of points that are your goal. And you might see a flower like this, depending on what grade you're in, or you might see a bar chart that shows your reading goal is 20 points and you've accomplished X number of points towards that goal. Same with the flower, it'll start to fill in with color as I reach my goal, and it'll be completely filled in when I'm done. So I can go back and search for another book that I've read, or I can click on St. Perpetua and log out because I am done taking my AR quiz. And that's it. That's how easy it is to log in to Star Renaissance and take a quiz. If you have any tech glitches while you are remote learning, and it has happened, so don't feel bad if it happens to you, then don't hesitate to reach out to me, Mrs. Hinton, and I will do my best to help you figure out how to fix it.